Hi again everyone and welcome to a bonus mini episode of Teapot Crossing. You'll soon see just why I had to share this with you all immediately. So here I was, just planting coconut trees under the moonlight. Everything seemed perfectly normal until... Uh, what on earth is this? No, I'm not the ghost, I'm a human. Oh, well, I've just moved here actually, there's a few of us. Oh, hi Wisp, what a lovely name. I'm Teapot. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Of course I'll help. Right, I'd better get looking fast. How will I know what a piece of spirit even looks like? Oh, I just hope I can find them all. Poor little wisp. Wait, that has to be a piece of spirit, right? Let's try and catch it. Yay, one down, four more to go. You know, I don't think I'll tell anyone here about Wisp. What do you think? Even though I can already tell that Wisp is so cute and kind, I don't want any of the residents to get scared. Oh, come on, pieces, where are you? I don't want to keep Wisp waiting. <gasps> There's another piece. Oh. Oh, no. Got it. That's three. Ah. Excellent, that's four. Only one more to go. Is that it in the distance? I think it is. And that's all five. Let's get back to Wisp as fast as we can. Wisp, I'm back. Wisp, are you okay? If 
thank goodness. Oh, clothing, great. I don't have much. Something I don't have yet or something expensive. Hmm. I don't really need expensive things here. I just need practical items. Something new. A satin dress. Oh. Uh, thanks, Wisp. What's this? Points just for helping Wisp? Wispy Island Secrets. Well, all that was quite magical, wasn't it? I'm sad that I scared him in the first place, though. But I'm so glad I could save him, too. Gosh, it's getting late now. How will I sleep after all this excitement, though? I know. I'll go home, have a nice cup of tea, and write a letter to my parents about my day today. So thanks for joining me, everyone. See you all next time. Teapot signing out.